Welcome to this video playing Alias. Oh, that's not very exciting. The London system. I have uh, zero out of two against him. That doesn't look good. <laughs> Probably, uh, uh, I don't know. Judging from this opening, maybe uh, games where I tried to do something against this very boring setup and in the process got into time pressure and lost on time or something. There is this school of thought, yeah, just play a completely unambitious opening and move around as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm preparing b5 here, b5, b4 for the minority attack. Yeah, this is just like in the Queen's Gambit uh, declined in the uh, the card spot structure, just with colors reversed. Yeah, that's interesting. He pushed a4 and a5 here. This um, gives him a backward backward c pawn, which is not necessarily a big problem. Sometimes if white gets a knight b3 to c5, this is quite okay. And he might manage that in this position. Yeah, it looks like, looks like it. So, hmm. okay, there's so some, some way to prevent that. I don't really think so. I mean, it's not the end of the world if he gets there, but it um, would be nice, nice to prevent. Hmm. I wonder if queen c4 is a move, but he can go bishop f5, knight f5, and it's not leading to anything. Hmm, sure. That was quite okay for white, yeah, all of that. Yeah, it's hard to hard to not take this take this knight. If he takes with the B pawn, I have knight c six and I can win the pawn, so he has to take with the D pawn, I think. Wonder what he's thinking about. Okay, I wanted to play h6. Uh, that was stupid. Uh, well, I played this too quickly. Uh, when I was thinking earlier, okay, knight g5 was interesting. I have to play g6 then, which I really don't want to play. Uh, yeah. Okay. So nothing much happening here. Yeah, maybe I can get in e5 at some point. It's a fairly solid position. Hmm, okay, pawn takes. He will grab a6, so I cannot do that. Hmm, can I play with e5 and, and advance in the center? Hmm. Might be risky. Might be slightly risky, like f6, e oh, that I didn't expect at all. So he's saying that d4 is actually okay for him, maybe. d4, rook e4, e5, yeah, maybe, maybe he can do that. It's yeah, but still, okay, I have to play that. 
Um, I mean, okay, I could have played g6 or a move uh, in, in that that spirit, but um, yeah, so I can I can take f4, right? Rook, well, rook takes is, is actually quite okay. And f3 at the end. Hmm. f6 looks looks weird f5 is actually an interesting move f5 rook e5 rook e5 f e5 queen e4 ah come on that, that's interesting i don't know if it is good but it's interesting If he takes, I have two connected pass pawns that are not so easy to stop at all. I'm quick with king f7 and so on. That was interesting. One danger is that there's always those breakthroughs on the queen side. With b5, c6. Yeah, not so easy to play for him. Uh, d6 uh, d3 I mean yeah come on let's do that he cannot take b7 I think it looks very dangerous at least with d2 d2 for queen e1 and mate take b7 how should I tell how how should he take b7 <laughs> thinking about two moves at once when I take e5 I mean um Yeah, or stuff like e6, queen e6. Okay, moving the king actually. I can take here for queen c2. In case of a capture, I mean. Maybe e6. C5 is hanging with a check, so. Check. It's check. Difficult for him. So, taking or. I guess, yeah, taking. He's got one check on the A, yeah, so let's just make a nice little space on H7, so. Check. Uh, I thought this here should check. should trade queens. Check. White forfeits on time. Yeah, maybe f5 was good. I don't know. This is an interesting, interesting way to sharpen up this end game. Let's have a look at uh, at this concrete situation. Here f4 and then f5. Yeah, I don't really know. It is interesting at least. F5. So he has to take. And now this move. <laughs> the computer is always completely fearless. It wants to take. 
and play king f2. Then rook e1 next. Check. Yeah, that's strong. Yeah, the king is coming to e4, and I'm not I'm not promoting with with any forceful play. Yeah, and white is better. Yeah, okay, that was the refutation of my idea. Interesting, it was correct. It was not. Yeah, he has to play king f2 first so that he has this idea. Yeah, yeah, and I don't really have anything great here. Yeah? He's also threatening to come up with this. So I shouldn't play queen e4. What should I play? I mean, okay, then I don't play f5, of course. Queen a4 is the computer suggestion attacking this pawn with equal play. And this, this probably makes some sense. I was thinking it should be about equal. So he has to take and play king f2. He went here, though. And again, he can play, can take and play king f2. Hmm, didn't do that. And now I can take. Yeah, no, Check. he was falling apart with the clock ticking down. Huh, okay. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this interesting endgame at the end. Thanks for watching.